Hey team, in this video, I'm just going to do a quick recap of the reports needed to enter in activities from onto CMS system into M3. Um, and just going to kind of go through this quick little list and some tips to get that activity updated for you. So the first thing I want to note on here is we're going to start with entering the room suite statistic. And you'll notice I'm pulling this from the day stats report. This gives you your detailed hair on your market statistics. It also provides your um, any comp rooms, any out of order, anything along those lines on here. And so the first thing you're going to enter in to M3 will be those statistics. The next activity that you will be entering into M3 will be your ledger activity. And I've got a little example here. Give me one moment. And here we go. So. Um, this is a tap, and what it is, is all you're going to be doing is you're taking your ending balance. So if you notice, let me zoom in just this here. It's taking the guest ledger is under the today's income account, that net tray. And so you're going to take your ending balance, the 1906463, and you will be subtracting out your yesterday's balance, which is your beginning balance of the 1358350. That difference will give you your net guest ledger. The next ledger activity you'll be entering in will be the city ledger. The city ledger, so we'll take the 20, the ending balance of 23, so 24, 15, subtract out the yesterday's balance, this column right here, um, and that net activity will be the activity for the day. You will find that information um, on the accounts receivable section of your daily report. And then this is the advanced deposit portion of it. So, the negative 1908.56, subtract it out to negative 2040.33, and that net activity is what gives you your net activity for the day. You could also just do it, um, the math from here between your debits and credit. Please note you do not enter in anything from the credit card section on your report here. So that activity is already being reported um, from your uh, the RVY um, accounting report or the trial balance. And so for the Room revenue, the all of your revenues, your um, non revenues, your taxes, um, all of that, and your payments, your settlements, your receipts are all going to be reported. And we're going to use the trial balance instead of the other um, the RBY activity report from ONQ because it is condensed down and there's not so many zeros all the way down. So it makes it easier to see your activity. What we've done here is we've actually put in a do not enter line and we've highlighted those accounts foreign. The reason for that is this activity is already being recorded and that way nothing is double um, double recorded and M3 will then be out of balance. So you'll find your bank deposit, you'll enter that into your bank deposit line in M3, your cash payment, your check payment, um, your Visa, MasterCard and American Express, just enter it exactly as you see it here as well as where your honors and settlements are currently being recorded in M3, you'll just enter that activity directly on those lines. We'll then skip down. You'll then start with your taxes and put those in appropriately into M3. And then if there are any expenses, some hotels may or may not have this. Don't forget that cash over short typically um, does show up as a penny every now and then. That'll make things very, very easy for you. And then from here, this is where your income is, so just go into your M3 daily report, and you're just going to enter this activity into the corresponding line in M3. Um, should there be an activity in them um, for that? Again, I do want to point out here is you'll just enter if it's a negative on this report, you enter it as a negative, as a positive, you enter it as a positive. And for our on uh, team, please note that your room revenue section is right here. You'll enter in the room revenue from over here, and it will correspond with the room suite statistics located on your day stats report. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask and reach out to the team. Um, we're here to help, and thank you all so much.